What are all the differences between the Shonen Jump's new prints and design versus their old prints and design? Let's get into it. Right, hello everyone, welcome to the Eat Right Theater. Um, today we are going to be going over um, all the differences between uh, Shonen Jump's new and old prints, as you saw in the intro. So, what are all the differences? Because they have changed their logo, I think, a couple times, but I'm just going to go over all the main differences. Um... On the covers, because that's really where, like, the majority of it is. So, as you can see here, um, I, I, I believe that this was their design. I'm going to put it on screen now. Um, what they are original, uh, when they changed it, and um, when they changed from this Shonen Jump logo to um, this one. Right there, so. As you can see here, um... This is a circle with the SJ. Um, it's much more like rounded and bubbly, while this one is kind of more pixelated, and uh, not. It doesn't have the circle as well. So they changed the Shonen Jump Net logo as well as the Viz Media logo was changed. I think they changed it. I think this is their old old one. There was another one. I think I'm not sure uh, that came for uh this viz media one so uh the question uh so i don't have uh anything any of these original ones other than uh one punch man volume four because i was at barnes and noble i wanted one punch man volume four and uh i got it and this was the only thing they had i probably would have gotten the original but then uh, on the call right home i was like i could make a video about this so uh let's go over a few of the differences just on one punch man um the, as you can see here, it is a, like, no transparency, it is a, like, red with, and it is up here under the one, and that's the main difference there, and then here, it's down there in that corner, and it's transparent. Now, the reason why, I think it was like this during the entirety of them printing it with the old Shonen Jump logo, my reasoning being is that on both of these, um, just got that on accident. it is also down um, in that corner there, um, being transparent. Um, I'm also using a dollar as a bookmark. So, um, that's the major differences. Now, on the back, obviously, all of the, um, you know, there's the old full Shonen Jump logo, not just a little emblem up there. That's what that used to look like, and then... Uh, the old Viz Media logo, and then, uh, actually, uh, a lot of people may not know this. I mean, if you have a manga, um, you probably know this, but they have ratings on the back of them. You know, T for Teen, um, I believe A for All Ages, and then I assume Mature. I don't have any of those yet. Um, and then, so yeah, the rating symbol looked like that. And then on the new ones I just showed you, they look like this. So, as well as the new Shonen Jump logo and new Viz Media logo. Um, something else that was on this one is this book le reads left to right. Um, it's not on this one. It's just completely missing. So, those are the main differences that I ha so far have noticed. Um, maybe while I'm editing the video, I will you know, pick up on a few different ones. Uh, and then I'll, you know, go back to the video and put them in. So, yeah, those are the main differences between these two uh, versions of the Shonen Jump volumes. Um, here is another just manga with the new um, logo, just for reference for things non-One uh, Punch Man. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, taking the very short time out of your day to... Uh, Click on this video and uh, maybe learn a few things about how the way uh, old Shonen Jump volumes used to look. I'm The Right Theater, signing out. Goodbye.